This is a short video on how to take a an audio recording recorded on a digital recorder like the one you see here, the Zoom uh, H2, which has microphones facing you and microphones on the other side, and you put it on a tripod and uh, with the screw-in attachment here, put it on a microphone stand, put it in front of the podium and record like a sermon. Then when you're done, you take the SD, press the stop button, take the SD memory card out and put it in the computer like you see here. So then the next step is to look for the, look open that card so we can uh, see and find the particular auto recording. So we go to start then computer, then we go to removable disk K, and then folder 1, and usually you see the listing as a 000, you know that's the most recent one, plus it has the, the date. So what you usually do starting out is you right click with the mouse and go down to rename, and then you can type in there uh, pure and simple devotion giving giving the file a name okay then you uh, d click in the open area down here and that deselects it and then we can close that down and now we're going to open the uh, audacity software which is called an open source software and it's free download from the internet recommended by PC magazine for audio editing sound editing so we'll double click on the Audacity and we'll click OK here and now we're going to open the file file open file import and then we go audio and it knows uh, where those recently files are listed and here it is pure and simple devotion to Christ so I double click on that it wants to make a copy of the files which is safer so that's fine takes a little longer maybe so now it's opening the files. There'll be two bar graphs here, a left channel and a right channel. There are the bar graphs. Normally, uh, I would like the bar graphs to be a lot wider t uh, than that. So first of all, there's a little section in here in the beginning where I tested to see if the microphone was really recording and I don't need that we could do amplifier we could zoom in here with the zoom key and we could see that starting part right there that was uh, nothing really make sure we're all the way over to the side so what we would do is take the I-beam right here and we would click on that all that unnecessary test material I think it was actually over here click the unnecessary test material and then drag across and then press the delete key uh, on your keyboard and eliminate that and you could also go over to the other end and it doesn't look like all this stuff on the end over here doesn't matter but you could delete that too and in the same manner you can take out any gaps or spaces in where you pause too long in your recording and eliminate that just by selecting it like this uh, with the dragging with the I-beam cursor and then you would press delete with your keyboard delete key okay we got that done now we want to uh, uh, select the whole track so what we want to do now is we want to go to uh, edit select all down to select and over to all now it's all highlighted now we want to amplify the signal so we're going to the effect pull down menu and go to amplify and I learned from experience you could amplify it clear up to a 10 so I'm going to type in 10 it's going to make the the bar the two bar graphs wider we're going to allow clipping that means that these little spike places are going to come clear down to the edge here and if they exceed the edge which doesn't seem to hurt much it, it will allow that so we go OK. Now it's amplifying the whole thing. There. Now you'll notice that uh, at the very beginning over here, it, it appears uh, 
that uh, some parts of the recording weren't as outstanding as other parts. Uh, you see it's clipped right here but it doesn't seem to hurt and so you can see that this area at the beginning here is not quite for whatever reason when you are uh, recording the message and you uh, look down at your notes or when you read from the Bible then you find out that the voice in that instance the recording is is uh, is louder like it is right in here where I must have been reading from the Bible as part of my sermon now we're going to go over here and take this area that's not quite as loud and we're going to amplify just that area so what we do is we take just that area and we're going to we drug across to the left after we clicked on it with the left mouse now we're going to go and amplify just that so it'll be more even with the rest of the recording so now we go effect amplify and we can make this one about a three I determined and we'll go down here allow clipping and go OK and there now that's uh, more evenly matched throughout this so a person listening at this uh, view of this kind of a scale showing here you'll find out down here under sound when you uh, look at your volume setting you can put it halfway here and then when you do that you'll have an adequate uh, for normal listening so now we can uh, export the file there's different formats available to export file and then we go down to export and you can see uh, down here all the options we got a uh, 16-bit wave file Microsoft is uh, the standard for the uh, making a good CD recording and but what I uh, transfer it onto a CD using uh, narrow then it will convert it to whatever file it f format it feels is best uh, for replaying on all uh, kinds of CD players but you could also this another option would be to go down here to mp3 there's a plug-in software called lame that allows it to be exported to mp3 for things like uh, iPods and uh, I noticed when you do an mp3 you can put that on a CD too and you can get uh, 130 minutes on the on the CD whereas you can only get 80 minutes with a 16-bit uh, wave file so you could put actually three sermons on a CD if you use the option of recording in an mp3 format however the mp3 is not going to be playable on all players so it might be better to use two CDs so with that uh, we're going to go file export and as you noticed I have a collection here on my computer under my external hard drive where I save all my documents David's sermons next folder below that subfolder David's audio sermon recordings Santa Barbara Rescue Mission for an audio CD and then Santa Barbara Rescue Mission ready for CD and so I would go save and then the file would be ready to open and I can save this file. This, the, the recording format for the Audacity program is its own particular uh, file extension and it's used only for the purpose of editing uh, things in Audacity and so therefore I don't need to save that so I'm going to go file close and not save the changes and now the file next step would be to be able to open up the file and use a program like Roxy or Nero to burn the recorded 16-bit WAV file onto a CD and then after that put a label on it. Thanks for watching.